Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 Portable. Last time we did a couple missions, did some research. I think we started our new battleship hole, which was cool. And today we're going to get uh, started with some more research, uh, because research is very important. And I want to see, uh, not that, I want to see what else we can do for the cannons here, if anything. Uh, we could get these, I suppose. Not that we need them that badly. Uh, let's see here. Get that. I should check um, to double check and just make sure that we actually started the hole. It looks like we did. Yeah, okay. I was pretty sure that we did. I just wanted to be sure. Like, really sure? Because that would be bad otherwise. This, I think, is the one that starts... Uh, unless you get down to the... Um, this is the regular chain gun tree. Not that. No, no, no. Definitely not that. Uh, I think this is the one that lets you get down to the AGS guns eventually, but you can't get any of the AGS guns until EL2 anyways, so there is no point for us right now. These I should have probably gotten a long time ago, but they are pretty expensive. They just make your shells better. Um, they're just very expensive, as you can see, and I was really focused on getting some other stuff. What if we go to missiles? Anything cool in missiles? Not yet. Get that, though, and this I suppose and uh, sure it's only 2400 why not nothing else I'm really worried about there that's holes I don't need to look at that uh, I'm not worried about structures engines I think we're in a good spot for a while though I could look into a new uh, nuclear reactor not that I need it though I could look into some new boiler tech maybe still though I don't feel like I need that maybe uh, Maybe some of these guys. Which one's fire extinguisher? This one. This is the only one I really ever use, so this would be good to have. Um, what else? That is... What is that? Oh, that's sonar. Okay. This is firing delay. Firing delay... Whoopsies. Wrong button. Firing delay... Ah. Bleh. Come on. There we go. Firing delay gamma. That's pretty nice. Radar alpha. I'm sure. Where is... Uh, which one of these is Aegis? system. Do we have Aegis system like around here yet? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, well, in any case, I think we'll just hang on to our money for now, because we're going to want to do some more. We need to progress uh, some of these tech trees before we can really get anything I care about spending money on, which is going to take a couple of missions to do. Um, something else I want to do, because I keep forgetting, is I want to get the lock-on type anti-sub missiles on here, like anti-sub missile VLS, because uh, they will be a lot better than these old things. So we will get rid of them, like so, and try to put on... Oh, I hope we have a place to put these things. Where are they? Oh, I can't tell. Um, okay, as rocks. You can... It's that one and that one. That's not it. That might be it. I think it's this one. I hope it's that one. Uh, can I put these back here? Ah, uh, yes. There. And there. Oh, please let me put these on the side somewhere. Yes, there. And there. Probably not up there, though. No. Back here, maybe? No. And no. Okay, so that's all we're going to get out of them. Unless... No, it's not wide enough for that. Is it? No, it's not wide enough. The Azrox are wider. I was going to say, maybe we could put some between the engines and the side of the hull, but it's just not wide enough for that. Even if I got rid of these guns, it wouldn't be. But now that the other anti-sub rockets are gone, I can put those on there. I could put on some more high angles, uh, just so we have a little bit more AA firepower, which is always a good thing like this, and then just so that they look a little bit better too. Whoopsies. We could even raise them up. Something like this. And just for the sake of being easier, let's just do that. That way I don't have to do the adjustment on both uh, pairs individually. But there we go. So, yeah, we got some upgrades there. And, uh, that said, I kind of want to see what the raised high angles look like. Oh yeah, that's cool. Looks really cool. I like it. Um, yeah. So let's uh, hop into a mission then. 
What is this mission? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what this mission is. This like middle section of the game is where I always forget what the missions are, what you're doing, any of the treasures. Treasure is on EL2, it looks like. S rank is a cluster rocket launcher. I don't remember this mission. Even a little bit. What are we doing? There's submarines. Oh, I could have put on an AGS system, but I forgot about it. Oh well. Should be fine. There we go. Found our first submarine victim over there. We'll launch two at him just in case. Hit him yet? Okay, it just takes one, it looks like. Get that guy over there. Any more? Yep, there's one. More out that way. Whoa, 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 there's a bunch, apparently. Finish these guys off. Parts crate over there. Maybe, maybe good? I don't know. I'll have to look back at uh, what the potential parts crates are in this mission. There's one very close to us. And another one over here. Are they doing something to uh, intercept my missiles? Be interesting. Fun's great there, I want that. Let's kill that guy over there. This one is about to be dead. There's one right in front of us that we need to deal with. He did something. Oh, he survived the impact, apparently. Not sure how. Fun's crate there. It's either ammo or a repair crate, but either way, I'm not worried about it. This one close to us. Get that one over there. And that should be them. There's one more. Where is it? Oh no, it's dead now. There he is. Yeah. So funds crate over there, and then will you will continue with uh, the actual mission? Oh, parts crate too. Let me look at the, what the parts could be. Um, napalm grenade, signal flare, illumination flare, salute gun, useless flamethrower, next to useless, and four different types of rocket launchers, all pretty much useless. So, eh. Mediocre uh, loot, but oh well. For the sake of collecting it, and this is kind of where our objective is, anyways. This mission doesn't seem so hard. Just go destroy a bunch of shore installations. There's some ships there, too, I suppose, but. Uh, And that's what chaff is for, right there. Those torpedoes now coming in? Looks like it. Boy, they really like that uh, chaff over there, those uh, missiles. And just launch some more chaff because it's really useful. <laughs> This is pretty straightforward. More chaff. Launch a little bit more chaff, and then we'll actually start focusing on the enemies here. Nice. Oh, it's so much better having one extra barrel per turret. It's, it really makes a big difference. It doesn't seem all that significant in the dock until you start actually using it in practice, and then you're like, wow, that's huge. Uh, let's see. Do the PT boats have gravity shields? Seriously? Where do they have space to mount those on a little PT boat? Kind of impressive, to be honest, but, like, what? What? No, 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 the destroyer right in, no, no, the destroyer that's right in front of me. There you go. And the PT boat. <laughs> he didn't have much of a chance at all. Parts crate back there. Probably pick it up automatically? No, I guess not. Let's get the rest of these things here. 
two parts crates there, but I really am not that interested in any of the parts in this mission. I just there's an inner completionist in me that can't help but go for it. Even though it's not even a completion thing, it's just it doesn't even make a difference towards completion of the game, really. Those are all things I can research in this case. So I don't know, just a weird habit, I suppose. Old habits die hard. I think they're done launching missiles. I think it was the uh, destroyers that was launching all the missiles at us. There we go. And finish off the rest of those shore-based installations, and then we are done. Why can't I turn right, please? All right, I guess we're good. Ta-da, we did it. And we're going to go back for a moment here. What's this? Oh, I guess it was that airfield, maybe. Was that even an airfield? Uh, Maybe? I don't know. One of those was probably an airfield, but I don't know what that back one was. Um, but whatever it was, it gave us another secondary objective, so I'm glad I went back for a couple seconds. And see how short that mission was? That's pretty much why I decided I want to do two missions per episode. Alrighty. That's pretty straightforward. Nice and simple. Ah, this rank. Cluster rocket launcher. So... Not uh, not great, especially since we now have Cluster Missile VLS, which is probably just a lot better. Wait, what was that? I didn't see that medal very well, but I looked at it in the preview window on the recording. It was not Silver Swan rank anything, so probably still fine. This one was from... Okay, yeah, this is the one we want to use. Oh, man. 464, huh? What is this mission? Oh, straight into the briefing. Okay. This one has a pretty good treasure, but we'll get to that in a minute. メルセブルク作戦第2弾として今回はノルウェーはトロンヘイム港の攻略を目指す。ナギショイ、敵基地周辺の情報をトロンヘイムはノルウェー北部のフィヨルド地帯に設けられた港です。湾の開港部と北部
is look at research. See what we got in here. Cannon stuff that I care about, maybe? Ah, yes, 80 centimeter. Well, before I care about that, I care about these first. Obviously, getting uh, higher calibers for these guns. Um, what else do I care about more right now? Uh, missiles are already going on all the ones I care about. I don't need it. the rest of this. Well, maybe I, I could do some torpedoes. Oh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Get some more barrels on those. Um, those are holes, I don't care. Structures, nah. Engine tech. Uh, sure, let's get the next level of boiler. And uh, get these, I suppose. How much are you? 40,000? Nah. Oh, I know what I could do. I could save up money and try to get that other type of ammunition over here. 108,000. That shouldn't take too long to get that much money. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'll that's what I'll go for. They basically just make your shells more effective in various different ways, um, which is nice. See, if I had ended it right there, that would have been a very short episode. So I'm glad I'm doing the two missions per episode thing now. Alrighty, there we go. Well, here we go. Got some submarines in front of us, so we'll go like this. I still forgot to put on the Aegis system, gosh dang it. Dang it! Why am I bad at video games? Ugh. I'm not bad at video games so much as I am just bad at remembering things in general. It's amazing I remember my own name half the time. And hit it. Didn't kill it though. I'll just start launching two missiles per submarine just to really make sure. Uh, any more? Yep, there's one. There's one close to me here. Another one over there, I think. Yep. Any more? Nope. There's one. Any more to flick to? Nope. It's this guy over here. Uh, oh yes, the treasure in this mission is on EO-1. It's an underwater base. And it uh, is the AS-332L. It's a type of uh, cargo helicopter. And as far as I know, it's the fastest cargo helicopter in the game, which is nice. Now, you only get one of them, obviously, because it's a treasure. But it's uh, it's nice that you get one at all. And most of the time, you don't need more than one uh, cargo helicopter, because what happens a lot is the AI is a little derpy, and they kind of go after... If you have multiple helicopters, a lot of times they'll all go after the exact same thing, which is just pointless and annoying. I guess we'll go ahead and let the high angles open up on those cannons. Why not, right? Um, anything else interesting in front of me as far as drops go? I guess not. Uh, murder this submarine here. And anything else? I guess not. No, well, not yet. I'm gonna just deal with these shore-based installations real quick here. I wish I would get some snow already, man. It's December now, and I ain't got any snow where my house is, where I live in real life, and I'm like, I want some snow. I am ready for it to snow. If it's going to be cold anyways, it might as well snow, so at least there's some reason to maybe go outside and do something. Like snowboarding or something. I didn't snowboard once last year, because I didn't have anyone to go with, and the weather was really on and off, as far as how much actual like good powder we had. A lot of it was just frozen ice, which you don't want to snowboard on. It's not fun. Not only because you've like, you know, the, if you fall down it hurts more. Not even that, but just because it's harder to actually move and control yourself when it's that icy layer on top and not just powder. Fire the chaff. Alright. Oh boy, there's a lot of ships here. 
Now let's deal with them. And we have a cruiser first. There we go. Are there two groups? Oh yes, there were two groups, and I just killed both of the leaders like immediately. We already did it. Wow. Okay. Well, of course we're gonna stick around for a bit here. Come on, cannons. There we go. Get all of these destroyers out of here. Get that cruiser out of here. He's gonna be a big problem. Oh, he could be a big problem. He won't be because I had a lot of armor, but. I think they said enemy sunk enough times. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, there's a parts crate back there. Do I care? I think it's like a lot of aircraft. That's a lot of different things. Uh, namely, you could get... The interesting things that you could get out of this are an 80 centimeter torpedo. Uh, if you're still using cruisers at this point. Um... Auto countermeasures 2 might be good if you don't have that already. Fire control system 2. And gravity system 2. Also, there's two secret blueprints. Exeter class and Yubari type. Which are kind of cool. So those are, your, those are the most interesting potential parts crates out of this mission. But, uh, possibly not. Um, well, they're definitely not the only ones. There's other ones you can get. They're just not as exciting. Also, now it's raining and not snowing, and I'm sad. Because it's like, that's exactly what happens here. It, like, we got a couple of inches of snow one night, and it was pretty much gone the next day, because it warmed up and started raining instead. Where did the snow go, man? I was so happy that it was snowing and stuff. This is the part where it can get a little overwhelming. Um, if you're not too careful. As, as you can see, there are a lot of enemy ships in here. That cruiser and this battleship here. I'm on fire. Hopefully my fire extinguisher deals with that pretty quickly. No, 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 I won't shoot the ships. There you go. That battleship, especially. Okay, I'm just gonna do the fire on my own because I do not trust my fire extinguisher system that much. Where is your leader? Uh, not him. There you go. Battleships and cruisers first. Just like so. Big health crate there. That's amazing. All right, high angle guns, go crazy. There's the survivors if we can. Yep. And this is also where your underwater base is uh, for the treasure as well. Where is it? It's right there tucked into this little cove back here. Nice. Alright. I don't know if there's more stuff we really have to kill. Ah, uh, there is. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to sail over there and I'll pick you guys up when I get closer. It's snowing again, by the way. What is up with the weather on this map? It does remind me of home, though. It's just all over the place. <laughs> See you guys in a second. Alright, so here we go. We are finally in range of some things that we can actually destroy for a change. And that's over pretty quickly. The more interesting fight is just ahead over here. Oh, they're already shooting at us. Well, I don't appreciate that, so let's fire back, shall we? That should do it for those guys. I think that's everything that matters. Let's go ahead and leave. I think that's enough stuff to get us an S rank, even if those northern buildings have something to do with an objective or destroyed percentage. I think we'll be fine.
Whoopsies. Alright, it's it's not not that bad. We got most of what he was saying. We get our S rank? Yeah, we did everything. Hooray! 89,000 funds. That is enough for us to go and buy the, uh... Go and buy the special type of ammo that gives us some bonus. That, uh, treasure... Or not treasure, the, uh... S rank there was a 53.3 centimeter guided torpedo. Not the best thing in the world, but I guess not too awful. There's our fancy helicopter. And, uh, yeah. Uh, save over the same one here. Just like so. Four ninety. Why does four ninety stick out in my head? Especially about four ninety that I remember. That number seems profound in my head for some reason, but I can't remember what the mission entails.欧州海放作戦メルセブルグ作戦もいよいよ最終局面を迎えた海放軍全艦艇はこれより帝国欧州方面軍本拠地である黄流港に向け進撃を開始する帝国はユトランド半島沖大艦隊を廃止我々の進
Now, if I remember correctly, and don't quote me on this, but if I remember correctly, this is a mission pause situation, so we will be going straight into the next mission after we do this one. Uh, but that'll be next time on Worship Gunner 2 Portable. So, that'll do it for this episode of the Let's Play. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.